Most men would rather deliver an electrical shock to themselves than be alone with their own thoughts. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, it's David Chen. I typically talk about TV and film, but today I'm pivoting to science and telling you about a new study out in Science Journal. It's called Just Think, The Challenges of the Disengaged Mind. In this study of 55 undergraduate students, people were asked to rate the unpleasantness of various stimuli, which included a mild shock. Then they were asked to sit by themselves for 10 to 20 minutes. Everyone knew how unpleasant the shock would be, which was roughly on par with getting a shock of static electricity. The vast majority of participants noted that if they could pay money to avoid getting the shock, they would do so. For the 10 to 20 minute period of thinking, the participants were told they could think about whatever they wanted, but the goal was entertaining yourself with your thoughts as best as you can, have a pleasant experience, as opposed to spending the time focusing on everyday activities or negative things. They were even prepped. The people behind the study asked them to describe three activities they might enjoy thinking about, but you didn't have to think about those activities. So what did the study find? Well, of the participants who said the shock was unpleasant, 64% of the men and 15% of the women gave themselves at least one shock during the thinking period, with an average giving themselves 1.47 shocks. These are people who just minutes ago said they would pay money to avoid getting the shock. People who were asked to try to have a pleasant experience and decide to give themselves a shock anyway. So what are the takeaways here? It's pretty obvious. People in general aren't comfortable being alone with their thoughts. We are currently in an age where we are bombarded from all directions by information, requests, notifications, videos like this one. So given the task of sitting by ourselves, being alone with our thoughts, trying to think happy thoughts, the task proved to be overwhelming for a lot of people. People might have felt boredom or frustration when given the task to think, and so maybe the shock was a way to distract from all that. But the other takeaway I think is important is people have difficulty controlling their own minds. According to the authors of the study themselves, research has shown that minds are difficult to control and it may be particularly hard to steer our thoughts in pleasant directions and keep them there. This may be why many people seek to gain better control of their thoughts with meditation and other techniques with clear benefits. Without such training, people prefer doing to thinking even if what they are doing is so unpleasant that they would normally pay to avoid it. The untutored mind does not like to be alone with itself, end quote. I think this shows that there's actually benefit in investing time into learning meditation and other mindfulness techniques. It is, after all, really important to learn to be alone with yourself because you're the one who you spend the most time with. One last thing. My favorite detail from this study was that there is one participant who administered 190 shocks to themselves during the thinking period. In response to that, I'll just say I don't think they were in the study for the same reasons everyone else was. I'm David Chen. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving me a like, follow, and subscribe. Thanks.